Get ready to be amazed. We're at Skycraft. This is military surplus at its finest. Yeah. You guys need some fans? Ever? You just find the most random stuff in here, like this thing. Who knows what that is? Uh, trays? Uh, some sort of missiles? And just random, random pieces of metal. Finally, my own alphanumeric display. You guys ever need a bucket full of O-rings? Every wire that you've ever imagined possible. How about a giant roll of sandpaper? Should we buy some, some gas masks? This has been your random moment with a bird. Darn dirty hippies walking down the street playing the ukulele and all barefoot in their shorts. Dang, I didn't even realize that it's very difficult to vlog when you wake up late because you're like, you're not even paying attention to the time. You're just like, yeah, it's still early. And now it's like eight o'clock at night. And I'm like, holy crap, I haven't filmed anything all day long. I gotta get to filming some stuff. I will tell you guys this, I am definitely a lot less sore than I was yesterday when I got home. Like I'm still pretty sore, but I can hold my arm out right now. That's a good sign. For whatever reason, this muscle right here is really sore. I don't know why, but I've had a pinched nerve in the back of my neck too for a little while. This is, I'm falling apart. I'm getting too old, I think. I'm not really that old. So I totally don't know if I told you guys this or not, but the guy, I'm going over to his house right now. The guy who I was out shopping with earlier, his name is Josh and he's a friend of mine from high school. And he's in town right now and he was actually supposed to get in yesterday at, you guys see how the lightning just then? Josh was supposed to get in Thursday morning at 11.40 and I was gonna get off work at about half day to go pick him up. And I did, I got off a half day to go pick him up. He gives me a call right before and he's like, oh, I missed my flight, I'm gonna try to get another one. So he says he got another one at seven at night to be getting in at nine, because it takes two hours, I think. Something like that. And so he gets on and he has a connecting flight in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he lands in Charlotte and he didn't leave Charlotte until 1 a.m. That's how bad his flight was delayed. He got in at 3.30 at night and I had to go pick him up. So I was waiting that whole time. I was awake from like, I don't know, 6 a.m. until four o'clock this morning. That's why I didn't go to work today because it was ridiculous. What's the worst airline story that you guys have ever had? I'm on my way over to Josh's house right now to uh, do some grilling. There is a crazy storm going on outside with some awesome lightning. So I'm hoping to get some good shots of that for you guys. I'm gonna see if I can convince him that we need to be out on the patio. Yeah, that's right. You will cook for me. <laughs> Take that, haha, -ha. dog. You would. I hope I'm not too late to show you guys some of this lightning. It's. I don't. You guys probably can't even see any of that. Maybe just the fountain. Totally keep on missing all of the lightning for you guys. I, I'll get it one of these times. I promise you. Well, I don't really promise you, but I'll try. Yesterday was so ridiculously long and tiresome. Today, I did not actually do anything all day long. That felt good. I have to admit it. It was a lot of like me doing this. But I'm sure you guys were wondering where the girls were. <laughs> this is where it gets good and I have to be very strategic about the way that I show you what they have because we are doing like sort of like a a bachelorette type thing for them or they're doing like a bachelorette type thing on Sunday I think and they went out to the uh, the party store and the uh, adult store and got bachelorette party things and they're very interesting, and I wanted to try to show them to you guys. So for the uh, the guys, while the girls are having their, their bachelorette thing, it'll be just me and like maybe two other people, my friend Josh. We have uh, pin the boobs on the babe. Yeah, and they have they have uh, pin the kisses on the guy. There's something kind of risque right here, so I'm gonna pin the kisses on the guy, and you're supposed to like, I don't know, put kisses on him. And then for whatever reason, they bought me a dodgeball game, and I'm gonna show you the other side of it. This is called Booby Dodgeball, and like this dodgeball, if I flip it over, it looks like a boob, so I can't flip it over, and then I've got like Booby Inspector badge, and this like, it looks like boobs. It's a pacifier. Here's where it doesn't get, it, it's a little bit risque right there. That's like a, a wiener wand that she wants to carry around with her for some reason. A napkin trivia game, and I'm tying the knot, buy me a shot thing. So she has these like two shot glasses on either side of her head and people are supposed to be like, oh, you're too bad, let me buy you a shot. This night can only end badly. It's gonna be like the female version of the hangover. Somebody's gonna be lost. Ah, and I'm sorry that I didn't show you guys any lightning because I never caught it on camera. Tomorrow we got something amazing planned. Well, not amazing, we've done it before, but we're gonna go have some fun tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where are you going? Hey, what are you doing? You can't go that way. Herman. 
Herman. And now it's time to pay the price.